Hello gang, it's Delta from DeltaIsGaming.com and some late breaking news on ESO going buy to play or free to play or some weird hybrid. Um, and I wanted to get my reaction. Read this little screenshot here of what they're doing and talk about it. Maybe do a writing blog a bit after. Uh, this is a pretty emotional video as this, we, we kind of saw this coming as a community team. Um, it going free to play or buy to play because they removed the six month subscription. And it looks like it's happening. The reason why, I think, is ESO heads to consoles. So starting June 9th, it's going to consoles, and it looks like March 17th is going to be the time where it flips its business model. Right now, it's subscription only. Um, it looks like the reason they're changing that is because they had to do this to be available on the consoles. And, um, yeah. So what does this mean for the PC players? What does it mean for the console players? Um, if you know me, I played Star Wars of the Republic, and I really liked that game. It really did. Uh, I didn't mind the free-to-play system. You know, I may rag on it sometimes, but honestly, it wasn't that bad because it allowed me to keep my subscription. I like subscribing. I want to pay $15 a month. I want to get all the content. That's what I like. So if you read this uh, little article, which I'll post in the um, description so you can read it for yourself, it basically says you have remaining time. You're going to be enrolled in this Elder Scrolls Tamriel Unlimited thing. First thing you'll notice, Crown Store. What is that? If you played Star Wars Republic, it sounds a lot like Cartel Store, Cartel Coins. Uh, you get an allotment of crowns to spend. That's the Cartel Store, basically the same thing. Uh, access to ESO downloadable content, DLC, and bonus to XP and gold. Okay, so let's break these down. An allotment of crown coins to spend. Well, that, that right there is a cash shop. We know that. That's a cash shop. Um, do cash shops bother me? Yes and no. No, if they only have vanity items. If they only have vanity items, meaning you can buy a costume, you can buy a stupid little mount, you can buy a dorky little pet, I don't know. Something that really doesn't enhance your character's performance. Fantastic. Spend, spend thousands of dollars. It doesn't affect me. I don't care. If you want to look cool and have a cool looking character, spend 20 bucks on it. Um, the only problem with that is they start, usually games will start making content just towards that and not towards the meat of the game. It's more cash shop items. So let's give all those scrolls a chance. Access to ESO downloadable content or DLC. So what are they doing here? It looks like they're going to release DLC on consoles. That way people can pay for it if they want to get more and more access to the game. I like this idea because I will sub still subscribe. Um, and that way I can get all the consoles. I don't have to piecemeal my content. But... Looks like content will be a little piecemealed. As far as a 10% bonus to XP and gold gain, oh, hate this. XP gold gain. I don't think you should sell XP. If you're if you're subscribed to the game, getting extra gold and XP, that's basically uh, buy to win, in my opinion. More gold versus someone who maybe is a free to play player or buy to play. I don't know about that. That's starting to teeter on the edge of you know game breaking. So memberships to ESL Plus can be purchased 30, 90, 180 days, $14.99. Um, recurring membership, you get more crown coins. So basically it's just like Star Wars Old Republic where you get a little amount of coins every month to spend. And you get to buy cash shop items. You can spend your crown points to get unique pets, uh, mounts, vanity pets, costumes. I like that. Convenience item like health potions and soul gems. Oh, that's starting to teeter on the edge there. So it... <laughs> That's the only thing I'm really worried about. Um, the question is, am I still going to play the game? Yes, I am. And here's why. I believe in the developers. Um, I didn't quit Star Wars Early Public because of, uh, because of the cash shop. I didn't. I quit Star Wars Early Public because people were throwing games in PvP, and their customer service didn't do anything about it. That's why I quit. I actually liked the cash shop. I liked buying dorky little items that made my character look cool. Um, it brought a lot more players to the game. Yes, some were idiots, some were trolls, some were morons, um, but you get that in life, no matter what you do. So is free-to-play or buy-to-play, whatever the model is, is it good? It's good for the longevity of the game. It's a good business model. Is it good for the player? Uh, that's to be debated. So I'm going to come with this in a fresh, fresh attitude, fresh mindset. It's going to be a big change for the game. I don't want to bail on the game yet, and the reason why I like the developers and I love this community. If the community is torn apart because of this, if everyone starts jumping off the bandwagon and, and running away from this game because of it, 
then that's the only time that I will quit. Um, but it really has to be about community first. And if it's not, I'm going to leave. And that's that's what I think about this. It's like someone kicked your dog, you know. When, when you saw something coming that was really bad and you didn't want it to happen, and boom, it's here. You know, this is it. Like, dude, not this game. Don't go to free-to-play. Don't sell out Elder Scrolls. And if you're watching this, and you're probably not... You know, I wish you the best of luck. Just don't piecemeal buy to win crap. Don't put something in the cash shop that could make your character more powerful than the next guy who has to earn it. Do not do that, and I will ride with your game till the very end. If you do that, I will be the first to leave. Do not make buy to win happen. That will ruin the game. That will ruin the community. That will ruin everything that we've established. I don't want to start over. I don't want to start over. I don't want to go to a new game. I don't want to have to change my website. I don't want to have to redo all my guides for nothing for people that don't care about it. We have a good thing going here, you know? I don't want it to be ruined. Um, but I'm not going to freak out yet. Though I probably will cry today at some point, <laughs> like a little baby. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a kick to the gut. But let's just wait and see. So, it looks like about an hour from now, they're doing a Twitch thing on uh, Paul Sage. I think all of them are going to talk about the change. And I'm going to tune into that. So, I'm going to post this on my website, deltiesgaming.com. Give you a breakdown of what I think each point means and how it might affect the game. So, come over there to read this. But I wanted to get a quick video out with my reaction. So... Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. What are your guys' thoughts? This is going to be heated, so leave me some comments. Please try to keep it civil. Um, but yeah, I can understand the emotions that are going to be coming out of everyone today. So let's talk about it coming together as a community, and worst comes to worst, we can come on to a different project. But I'm going to give it a chance. These developers have been great to me, so let's just, let's just try to give it a chance here. And if not, you know, I understand. Thanks for watching.